Kelly Ayotte seems to think she'll become governor of New Hampshire by talking smack about us, her neighbors to the south. We are one election away from becoming Massachusetts in New Hampshire, and I'm not going to let that happen. In Massachusetts, that has sparked a backlash. Of course, for Kelly Ayotte, none of that really matters. The only thing that matters is how New Hampshire voters feel about her big idea. So we came up here to Milford. It's a town of about 16,000 people just northwest of Nashua, pretty evenly split politically, to ask people what they think. No, I'm not concerned about it. You're not concerned no, about that? No. Here's one takeaway. Plenty of people we talk to think the former senator's pitch is a reach. The free staters are taking over, and it's becoming a nutsy place, and we would be better off if we became a lot more like Massachusetts. There you go. There's too much different for one election to matter that much. But for others, Ayotte's warning hits home. There's a lot of people up here that their gun laws are what they want. They, that's why they came here. And the Massachusetts laws are totally, you know, different and can't have this, can't have that. There's a little bit of sentiment in favor of a state income tax that crops up every now and again. For the record, Ayat has specifically cited guns and taxes as she stokes her beef with the Bay State. But there are other changes people see seeping in over the border. I will say the traffic on 93 now on Saturday mornings is getting a lot worse getting up to the mountains and the lakes than I remember growing up. My son and his wife um, wanted to buy a house. Any open house we went to, there were like 40 cars there that were from Massachusetts. Of course, if growth is a problem, it's been exacerbated by transplants embracing the same values Ayotte says make New Hampshire great. Um, I've been here like 25 years. Where'd sorry. you come from? Um, Massachusetts. <laughs> Still, when you add traffic and home prices to taxes and guns, you see how broad the appeal of Ayotte's pitch could be. But there's also some risk. We've seen drugs, uh, the fentanyl being trafficked off our southern border. Uh, from Lowell and Lawrence, Massachusetts. Blaming two diverse Massachusetts cities for drug problems to the north is loaded stuff that could backfire. Again, though, some New Hampshire voters may agree. This man said when he watches the Manchester News, crime seems more prevalent than it used to be. It happened, but you didn't see it on the news every day. So by all means, take issue with Ayotte's message. Just don't assume that it won't work.